Brandon Ishikawa works at Diamondback Shooting Sports. The company buys, sells, and trades guns. He says in order for a customer to get their hands on a gun, they need to fill out federal paperwork. Basically, it's called the 4473. It's a um, Brady background check. Um, it goes through, has all their the buyer's um, background information, so to speak. So your, your name, address, um, has to be a current address. And then they'll have these main questions through here that are your background questions. Some of the questions include, are you a fugitive from justice? He says within about 15 minutes, a person can either be approved, delayed, or denied by the National Instant Criminal Background Check System. Ishikawa says many of their employees are retired law enforcement or military, and if they feel the sales shouldn't go through, they can shut it down. This year, he says sales dropped more than usual, but business as a whole is still going well. He credits that to people coming in to participate in training and safety classes. The main purpose of this, obviously, is to keep everybody safe, general public, police officers, everybody, and not only that, to keep the sport of it safe and alive. According to recent FBI statistics, firearm background checks have declined by 20 percent since March this year. Priscilla Casper, KGA 9, on your side.